Hi everyone, my name is Anne and I'm one of Monica's SI leaders for her Math 120 course. And today I'm gonna to demonstrate how to upload a photo of an assignment you may have to submit without filling out a PDF for Monica's math course. Um, Front Range has an app for D2L. You can download it for free. It's called Brightspace Plus or Pulse. <laughs> this app is available in both the Apple App Store and Google Play. But for convenience purposes, I'm going to use my iPhone to walk through how to access this app with only using the Apple App Store. So first what you need to do is you need to go into your particular App Store, whether that's Apple or Google Play. And once you're in there, go ahead and type in Brightspace. See Brightspace uh, Pulse pops is my first option. So you wanna look for this Brightspace Pulse as you can see as that first selection that I have. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that. You would need to download this if you haven't already. Uh, if you have, like I have, then you can go ahead and open it. And once I've opened the app, um, I'm gonna scroll down into the Math 120 course that I currently SI for. And so I'm gonna select the Math 120, Math for Liberal Arts with Monica Geist. I'm gonna click on that app or click on that selection. And what I know is I, through this platform on this, space right here, I cannot get into my assignments just through here. So what I have to do is go to where it says course homepage at the bottom and go ahead and select that. And this logs me into the D2L site that we normally are, or that we're familiar with when we log on with our computers. And so to access the assignments, we go to that triple line in the top left-hand corner, go under activities, and then go into assignments. Now you would need to select whatever pre-work or whatever assignment you were looking to submit that correlates with the assignment that you're submitting. For me, for this purpose, I'm gonna go into a selection that's on the second page and it's the practice uploading a photo or file. Once I've selected that, I can now show you how I do this. Um, what I'm gonna do for this purpose is I'm gonna add a photo, I'm gonna add a file, and then I'm gonna click on my computer. Once I've selected my computer, it then says upload, and that's where I'm gonna upload this image. So I'm gonna click on upload, and then I have two options. Well, I have three options, but the two that you'll probably use the most are either take photo or video, which is a current snapshot of what you're looking at, or you can go to your photo library and um, if you go into your photo library, it'll pull all your photos from your phone, but I'm just gonna use take a photo or video. And once I've gone ahead and selected that, you can now see that I can take a photo of this assignment. Now I could choose to retake or I could choose to use photo. I think it looks good, so I'm gonna go ahead and use photo. And the image is going to upload. Now, I always double check my work to make sure that it's the actual file that I wanted to submit. So I go ahead and I click on that, that blue link for that image.jpg and um, I should pop the photo that I just looked at or that I just snapped the photo of. And that is exactly what I wanna submit. So I'm gonna hit that back arrow or that blue arrow that's pointing to the left. Go back to the screen where it says, do I wanna add it? I'm going to go ahead and click the add. And I can see that my image is there right below add a file. If I have more images to add, I'll just add file again, go into my computer again, and then go into upload and repeat the same process for as many times as I needed to with going ahead and submitting this file. Now, since I'm just going to use this one photo, if you have comments that you want to add, go ahead and add them, but I'm good with what I'm submitting. So I'm going to go ahead and click on submit. And I have a submission ID. And for me, I always go into my actual notifications up here to make sure that I have a do not reply at allinefrontrange.edu sent submission receipt for the, the actual submission that I just did. So if I click on that, I can then verify that what I had emailed was successful or not. And 
that's all I have for regarding this. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Monica at any time. Thanks for watching and good luck with the rest of your semester.